Our local news now, humanitarian support continues for victims left in Ukraine as the Russian invasion continues. Yeah, last month, a soup fundraiser raised thousands of dollars to support those in need, and now a local photographer is also raising money for the cause. Yeah, new this morning, reporter Cameron Brewer joins us to tell us more about this unique opportunity to help the people of Ukraine. Good morning, Cameron. What can you tell us about this new fundraiser? Good morning, Josh and Alicia, a longtime photographer with years of experience capturing special moments. Everything from family portraits to high school graduations is helping with a project of a different kind. He is now retired and travels capturing images from around the world. A lot of his portraits are up for sale and 100% of the proceeds will go to support the Ukraine rescue efforts. Photographer Robert Knutson is sharing his love for photography which goes back to his days in the Army in the 70s. Knutson was stationed in Hawaii. While there, he fell in love with the scenery and photography. So I studied photography there, went on to a photography school in Minneapolis, and came back to North Dakota. He owned a photography business, but has now retired, spending his time traveling. He's been to places like Europe, South Africa, Asia, and China, capturing it all. Wherever I can take a nice photo or get get out and photograph i will 150 pieces of his artwork are on display at his gallery and he will sell them saturday he says he hopes to have all his artwork cleared with funds going to support ukraine everything in my gallery i have printed i have framed and i still have the original images so i can reproduce it victor gontro is from ukraine and has been living in the united states since 2014 He's doing all that he can to help his loved ones left in Ukraine. This fundraiser means everything to him. I'm trying to help as my best to my mom that is currently in Ukraine, to all my friends and classmates and whoever needs help at that point of time. Guntro says although he lives here in North Dakota, he can imagine the pain that those still in Ukraine are feeling. So every time when they heard an alarm, you have that terrible feeling inside you, right? Like something goes wrong, right? Like, and imagine when you have that alarm five, six times a day for 30 minutes. This Saturday from 10 to 4 at the photo gallery in Bismarck, the public will be able to view Knutson's artwork and purchase it to support a worthy cause. It wasn't about the soup, and I think Robert would say it's really not about the pictures either. It's just some way that we can provide an opportunity for people to be able to help and contribute. For more info about the fundraiser, you can visit our website, kxnet.com. We also have the information as well as where the location is here in Bismarck. All right. Yeah. So you, you had to take a look at some of that art. I did. It looks amazing. Did you find one that you want to buy? You know what I did? I don't know if you <laughs> saw the, the, the uh, picture with the, like the, the pier. That yes. one really caught my interest. I was like, you know what? I really like that. Some yeah. amazing photos. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, a lot of people also are interested in his work, so it's great that mm -hmm. he's putting it towards his cause, Cameron. Yeah. Yes. All right. Thank you so much.